So here's another question from our AC circuit series. Okay, so you have this diagram here. And the question here is that you're, you're told that the diagram above, that's this diagram here, shows an RLC circuit. Okay, RLC simply means resistance, inductance, and capacitance circuit. Okay, now it said that at resonance, the current in the circuit is, all right, so what's the current in the circuit at resonance? Your option A says V over R, B says V all over omega C, C says V all over omega L, D says V all over omega all over omega R, okay? So how do you solve this question here? If you look at this question here, first things first, the key term here is the concept of saying at resonance, this one here, at resonance. So when we say at resonance, what do we mean? What exactly is resonance, okay? Now, resonance is said to occur in an AC series circuit when the maximum current is obtained from such a circuit, okay? Now, so resonance is simply, um, or resonance simply occurs in an AC series circuit, all right? Emphasis on the series, okay? As you can see here, the elements are arranged in series, okay? End to end, end to end. So it occurs in an um, AC series circuit when the maximum current is obtained from such a circuit, that's when resonance occurs, okay? Now, that's for your definition. One of the key concepts about resonance is that it occurs when the reactance of the inductance or inductor, that's XL, is equal to the reactance of the capacitor, that's XC, okay? XL simply means reactance of the inductor. XC simply means reactance of the capacitor. So this is the condition, or this is one of the things that happens when um, resonance occurs, okay? The reactance of the inductor is equal to the reactance of the capacitor, all right? So here's a key thing to note. That's the first thing there. Next up, they said, we should find the current in the circuit when this occurs. Now, let's go back to look at this diagram. Looking at this diagram here, what kind of a circuit is this? Now, this is an RLC circuit because the circuit contains resistance, that's this. It contains um, inductance, that's this. It also contains a capacitor, which gives you capacitance, that's this one here. So for an RLC circuit, what do we have? If you go back to Ohm's law, from Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR. Now here's a basic of, or a basic expression, or a basic mathematical expression of Ohm's law. But again, we've treated in our previous class. So if you missed our previous class on AC circuits, where I explained all the concepts from scratch, do well to check the video description. I'll leave a link to our first class on AC circuits in the video description, okay? All right, now here's something you should note about the VR, uh, RLC circuit, okay? For the VRLC circuit, the resistance R is actually called um, an impedance Z. It's called an impedance, or let's call it, so it's called Z, it's equal to Z. And we said Z is simply an impedance. All right. It means that V is equal to I times the impedance. For an RLC circuit, it becomes Z R L C. So you have this. Okay, so what exactly does impedance mean? Now, impedance and resistance mean almost the same thing, which is simply the opposition to the flow of currents. They mean technically the same thing. Okay, so uh, next up, what's your, what's your formula for impedance? Now, the formula for impedance of Z of, an, of a resistance inductance capacitance circuit is that Z is equal to the square root. You have the square root. Z is equal to the square root of um, R squared. R squared plus in brackets xl minus xc all squared all right so here's your formula for this so you have this one here um okay but we know that at resonance as we said earlier at resonance there's a condition what condition the condition is that xl would be equal to xc now what does that mean let's give them value. Let's say XL. If XL is equal to 3, for instance, of course, the units for this is ohms. That means XC would also be what there? 3 ohms. What does this mean? It means that if I take their difference, that's XL minus XC 
the difference becomes 3 ohms minus 3 ohms and that's equal to 0. So if we say something like this, if you say something like XL minus XC all squared, that simply means this is actually 0. So it simply means 0 squared. And 0 squared gives you what there? 0. Now bring this back into this particular equation. It means that Z will be equal to um, square root. So I'm having the square root. Um, square root of R squared. So R squared plus, we've said XL minus XC all squared is simply zero, as I've explained earlier. So from this, we'll have that this is equal to, I would have that Z is equal to the square root of R squared plus zero. Anything plus zero gives you that thing, so it becomes R squared. So it means that Z is equal to the square root cancel squared. We have R. So at resonance, we'll have that the impedance, that Z, is equal to the resistance, that's R. All right, so two things to note is that for an RLC circuit, the first thing to note is that the reactance of the inductor, that's XL, is equal to the reactance of the capacitor, XC. That's the first note. The second note is that the impedance of the circuit, Z, R, L, C, or just Z, is equal to what the, the resistance R. So these are like the two key concepts you should note here. Now, if this is true, going back to my initial equation, that's this one here, it means that V is equal to I Z R L C will simply be that V is equal to I. Now, Z R L C, we said is equal to what the R, that's at resonance. From here, let's find the value of the current. To get current, divide here and also divide here by what's attached to R here, which is R, divide here by R, this cancels this. So it means that I, the current I, is equal to V all over R. So this is the value of the current at resonance. Let's go back to see our option. So looking at this, it's obvious that the option here is option A, that's V over R. As I said, I've treated um, the concept of AC before, Check the video description for the link to our previous class on the AC circuit, okay? Now, before you go, let me give you a task, all right? Let me give you a task. So, solve this question and leave your answer in the comment section. So, here's a question. The question says, a coil of inductance L equal to 0 0.07 Henry, a resistor of resistance 8 ohm, and a capacitance of 0 0.01 farad, are connected in series to an AC source of frequency 50 Hz. What is the impedance of the circuit? So here you're asked to find the impedance of an RLC circuit. I think I already left the formula there. So check and then try to solve this. Of course, I said if you miss the, the our first class all right, on AC circuit that explains all of this, check the description and then solve this question and leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct or not, okay? All right, guys, so don't forget that I've prepared over 100 classes for JAM, for JAM and YA candidates, all right? It covers all, it covers all the major topics in physics, chemistry, and mathematics, all right? And for each of the topics, I've solved JAM pass questions for the last 10 years. To get access to this course, simply visit my website, www.journalimmanuel.com forward slash courses, and then check out the jam slash wire course, all right? Register an account to the website and then proceed to get the course, all right? It gives you a lifetime access to these classes. Also, don't forget, too, you can get exclusive content for jam and wire students by simply joining my channel membership, all right? So join the jam slash wire channel membership. I'll leave a link to it in the video description to get exclusive access to exclusive content, okay, for jam and wire students, all right? Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video as usual, please don't forget, hit the like button. Always like this video, okay? So hit the like button. Leave a comment. I gave you a task. I gave you an assignment, alright? Pause this video, solve the assignment, and leave your answer in the comment section, and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. Don't forget to subscribe. If it's your first time, or if you yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe as it helps us grow. And of course, hit the bell icon and choose all. So that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.